Patients with diabetes use insulin pumps to maintain stable blood sugar throughout the day and night. The devices serve as an alternative to daily injections, the traditional route for delivering insulin, the hormone that controls blood sugar. The first insulin pumps were introduced in the early 1980s. Today, up to 1 million diabetes patients worldwide use the devices, according to analyst estimates. More than 64% of U.S. children and adolescents tracked in a key diabetes database reported using an insulin pump in 2016. Most insulin pumps consist of an external device that holds insulin in a reservoir. The liquid is delivered into the bloodstream through a thin tube that attaches to a needle inserted under the skin. The pager-sized pumps can be programmed to deliver extra insulin before or after meals to keep blood sugar levels steady. The latest generation of pumps work with a sensor that measures blood sugar continuously, adjusting insulin as needed. Insulin pumps can help prevent some of the deadliest complications of diabetes, including dangerously low blood sugar. And many patients report a better quality of life because they no longer have to rely on frequent injections. But insulin pumps are also subject to a number of technical problems, including pump failure, programming errors, and infusion problems. Recent studies estimate these problems can occur in 40 to 50% of patients per year. In some cases, these can lead to life-threatening complications, including dangerously high blood sugar.